How is Canada's economy doing right now, and how will it change in the near future? Policymakers, economists, and investors use something called economic indicators to assess the health of a country's economy. But what exactly are these indicators, and what can they tell us about the current or future state of an economy? Hi, my name is Caroline Mon, and I'm a portfolio manager at Claret Asset Management. In this video, I'll discuss the significance of economic indicators and why investors should pay close attention to them. Economic indicators are statistical data points that provide insight into how an economy is performing. There are three main types of economic indicators. Leading indicators, coincident indicators, and lagging indicators. Leading indicators signal potential future changes in the economy. They can include data points like stock market performance, building permits, and consumer confidence surveys. These indicators help economists predict the direction of the economy. One of the most well-known leading indicators is stock market indices, such as the S&P 500, which measures the performance of the largest publicly traded companies in the US. Stock prices can anticipate economic turning points, both up and down, and can provide insights into market sentiment, investor confidence, and overall financial conditions. Changes in a market index can influence investment decisions, portfolio performance, and asset allocation strategies. Another important leading indicator is building permits for new private housing. In most areas, building permits are issued before construction can begin. An increasing number of building permits signifies a strong demand for real estate and predicts an upturn in construction activity. When individuals are feeling financially secure and have confidence in the economy, they are more likely to purchase homes, and building permits reflect increasing consumer confidence. On the other hand, coincident indicators provide information about the current state of the economy. They reflect ongoing economic activity and can include data points like retail sales, industrial production, payroll employment, and personal income. Coincident indicators are particularly useful at gauging the pulse of the economy in the present moment. For example, payroll employment, which represents the total number of paid, full-time and part-time workers in both public and private sectors. This indicator provides an understanding of the health of the job market and overall economic conditions. When more businesses are hiring, it signals to market participants that businesses are performing well and can also lead to expectations that people will spend more due to their higher incomes. Another important coincident indicator is retail sales because it points to consumer confidence and economic demand. Retail sales data tracks the total revenue generated by retail establishments, indicating consumer spending patterns. When sales are higher and people are spending more, companies in the retail sector of the stock market tend to perform better. Lastly, lagging indicators are data points that confirm or validate trends that have already happened. These indicators include metrics such as inflation rates, the change in labor costs, and gross domestic product, or GDP. Lagging indicators provide a retrospective view of the economy and are used to assess the impact of previous events or policies. Gross domestic product is probably one of the most widely known lagging indicators used by policymakers. It measures the total value of all goods and services produced within a country during a specific period. Changes in GDP can indicate shifts in business activity, investment levels, and consumer spending. Another vital lagging indicator is the Consumer Price Index, or CPI. The CPI tracks changes in the average price level of a basket of goods and services commonly purchased by households. It provides insights into inflationary pressures and is crucial for policymakers in determining monetary policy. Fluctuations in CPI can impact purchasing power, interest rates, and central bank policies, all of which have implications for investment performance. It's important to remember that economic indicators are not standalone measures. They are interconnected and changes in one indicator can affect others. This is why economists and analysts look at multiple indicators to get a comprehensive understanding of the economy. By understanding these indicators, investors can make more informed choices and better navigate the complex world of finance and economics. For more investment tips, visit our website at clara.ca 
or get in touch with us directly by clicking on the links in the description. And don't forget to click the subscribe button below.